is now one of the most widely used internet platforms for the distribution of digital copies of video games. You won't have to go to a physical shop and hunt for the game's title if you use this method to download it to your own computer. This makes it a time-saving and hassle-free option. Even though this is a reliable platform, there are times when certain problems may arise. And those are the kinds of things that we are going to talk about today in this video. We'll show you the solutions if you're getting the Steam must be running to play this game error. It is highly advised that you restart your computer before attempting any of the troubleshooting actions that are detailed in this video. This procedure restarts the operating system and deletes any corrupt temporary data that may be contributing to the issue that you are experiencing. this particular scenario. The first thing that you need to do is check to see whether the Steam client has been installed on your own computer. In the event that it isn't already, you will have to download and install it. Download the Steam client from their official website. Once the executable is downloaded, open it and follow the on-screen prompts to install the Steam client on your computer. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer. Steam client receives updates on a very regular basis. In order to avoid any problems that may be the result of using obsolete software, you need to ensure that the version that is currently loaded on your computer is the most recent available. Open Steam and make sure you are logged in. Go to the ribbon bar and click on Steam. Check for Steam client's updates. If a new version is found, follow the on-screen instructions to install the newer version on your computer. Once the installation is complete, restart your computer. If you downloaded a game through Steam and then continue to change its files by adding modifications or scripts, there is a possibility that you may run into this issue. It is possible that Steam is preventing certain non-Steam files from operating. Thus, you will need to remove these files. It is important to get rid of files with the DLL and Lua extension since these are the types of files that are most often blocked. After removing them, you should check to see whether the Steam must be running to play this game problem has been resolved. It's possible that the game you're attempting to launch has damaged or missing files which might cause this issue on occasion. In order to resolve this issue, you will need to check the file's integrity. Open the Steam client and go to the Library tab. From your list of games left section of the screen, right-click on the game and choose Properties. Inside the Properties screen of the game, go to the Local Files tab and click on Verify Integrity of Game Files. Wait until the process is complete, then restart the Steam client. Open the game. It may be necessary to launch Steam in administrative mode in order to resolve the issue in certain instances. Open Steam then go to the top right corner of the screen and click on your account to make the drop down menu visible. Then, from the drop down menu, click on Logout of Accounts. Confirm the logout procedure by clicking the logout button from the newly appeared logout window. Close Steam completely. Make sure that the tray bar icon of Steam is also closed. Launch Steam with administrative privileges by right clicking on the shortcut and choosing Run as Administrator. Then, log in with your user account again. Try launching the game from the Steam interface instead of double-clicking the dedicated executable. In the event that the troubleshooting actions earlier do not resolve the issue, you will need to do a fresh installation. Press Windows key plus R to open up a Run dialog box. Then, type appwiz.cpl and press enter to open up the programs and features window. Inside the programs and features window, scroll down through the application list to locate the Steam client. Once you see it, right click on it and choose uninstall. Inside the Steam uninstall window, simply click the uninstall button to remove the client from your computer. Repeat the same procedure with the game that is triggering the error. Once the uninstallation of the game is complete, restart your computer. Download the Steam client from their official website. Once the executable is downloaded, open it and follow the on-screen prompts to install the Steam client on your computer. When the installation is completed, restart your computer. Reinstall the game that is triggering the error. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it if you can leave a like, subscribe to our channel, 
or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making sure that Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others.